guys. Okay, so I'm really excited um, for a few different reasons. We got a new friend today, and I will introduce you to him in just a moment. But I'm also excited because on Saturday, my cousin, um, the one who brought me the blueberries, if you saw that video, he also brought me the friend, <laughs> and um, he's going through kind of a rough patch. He and his wife um, just split up and filed for divorce or whatever, and so he, you know, like is not, he, he said that he, he's really happy about it because he's, He's really happy because there was just, it was a bad relationship. But, you know, at the same time, it's always hard when a marriage or a relationship ends. So, um, on Saturday, we are going to go to a rock and mineral show in Texas. It's a few hours from here. Um... And I'm just so excited about it. He said that there are usually about 40 different vendors. And that they have just every everything you can possibly imagine. From fossils to, to meteors or meteorites. I don't know which one it is when they actually hit the ground. To geodes and um, crystals. So, I'm so excited. I can't wait to spend some time with him. Uh, I basically grew up down there. He, my grandmother raised him, and we stayed with my grandmother, like, every single weekend and for weeks during the summer. And so, I mean, I grew up with him. And, um, you know, then after I got to be a teenager or whatever, and especially after my husband and I got together, I just didn't go as much. And he's about four to five years older than I am. Um, and so we each had our own lives, and we just really haven't spent much time together in, in the last, I don't even know how many years. But I thought that it would be a great experience for both of us because he needs some cheering up and because I'm absolutely enthralled with, you know, crystals and rocks and such. So, and he didn't even know that. He didn't know that until he brought me my, our new little friend today. Um, and he saw some of my crystals lying around the house and, and we started talking and he told me about the, the show and that he was a member and that I, that he would love for me to go with him. And so, yay, I'm going. So I will hopefully have lots of cool new goodies to show you guys on Saturday or it might be Sunday before I get the video posted, but oh well, anyway, um, I'm just tickled. I'm thrilled. To go and to spend time with him and to talk and, and that kind of stuff. And he said that he has a lot of things from his own collection that he wants to give me. Uh, I know he said that he had a couple of fossils and um, some calcite and some Apache tears. And I can't remember, but it was just this just huge long list of stuff that he wants to give me. Which is so, so sweet of him. And I, I'm excited. I can't wait. Um, and he also, he is a very avid, like, um, horticulturist. He has tons and tons and tons of different flowers and plants. And lots and lots of, like, um, cacti and succulents and stuff. But he told me that he has a eucalyptus tree and that he's going to give me about a quart mason jar full of eucalyptus leaves and some of the bark, too. So, yay! I'm so excited about that as well. Um, and all of this was completely unexpected. I just got a phone call today. So, and then he showed up and we just kind of started talking, so... Yay! Anyway, I wanted to take you to meet the new member of the family.
Hopefully, this is a trial period. We're going to see how this works out with the cat and the kids and mama having to take care of everything. So, here we go. Excuse my messy kitchen. And he's on the... Oh, hey, there he is. Say hello. Say hello, pretty bird. Are you a pretty bird? This is our new cockatiel. And his name, I believe Rob said was Polly. That's what they had named him, but I'm not really crazy about Polly. So, we're probably going to change that if we end up keeping him. Show me your pretty wings. Show me your wings. Spread your wings out. He was doing it earlier when I would ask. Spread your wings. Show me your wings. There you go. Show me your wings. Can you say I'm a pretty bird? Can you say I'm a pretty bird? He's supposed to be able to whistle Dixie and do all kinds of stuff. He's so pretty. But he's kind of mean. He likes to bite. They didn't take a lot of time out with him. And, um... So, yeah, so we've got some working on that to do with him, but I got, I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, we got all these toys um, that he got that came with him, and there's another toy, um, and then the food, and then there is like um, that big white like surfboard looking thing, some sort of bird chew toy. And then there's another one that he has his feet on. But yeah, isn't he pretty? You're so pretty. I want to hang him. I want to hang him like right there so the cat can't get to him. I know my wallpaper is just the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen in your life. Um, yeah, we've got to redo the kitchen. It's, it's on the top of the priority list, but... Anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. I've got a couple of different videos that I really would like to do. I'm not sure whether I'll get to do them tonight or not because my husband's not coming home tonight. It's just me and the kids, and they have got to get their baths and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, love and light. Blessed be, guys. Bye.